Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, everyone, so uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well Aries Rising. A weekly tarot reading, August uh, <clears throat> 19 to August 25th, 2019. And uh, just stay with me a couple of seconds to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and we're going to jump right into it. I think that that's good enough and uh, let's see now the first card which represents the topic for your week Aries is going to be the Eight of Swords followed by the next card which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here is going to be the Two of Swords afterwards what we do have it is the positive aspect that helps you throughout the week that will be the Ten of Cups and then the last card which represents the uh, guidance that Saru is offering to you for throughout the week, we do have the death card. All right, so let's run down the cards one more time before we scrutinize the reading here. The first one, which stands for the topic, is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges. That will be the Two of Swords. Afterwards, it is the Ten of Cups, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one here, it is the death card, which stands for the guidance. All right, so the topic itself, Eight of Swords. Well, usually Eight of Swords, especially as a topic, really, it does represent um, some rough situations that one can find themselves at, uh, which, however, roughness, or rather like, you know, that kind of like a rough time that one is, is having throughout the week, is not because one did what it takes not to be in that situation so you you can you can really take it as a um it's not really even a payback it's more like a uh a, a, a repercussions of your previous actions okay and with the eight of swords usually it takes a uh a thinking outside of the box or rather like resorting or on more unorthodox means and strategies, you know, or rather like moves, I would say, that usually you wouldn't resort to in order to, you know, kind of like um, push yourself outside of this misfortunate situation, you know, or rather like a, a, a stagnated situation. Eight of Swords, it's, it's a card pointing to one's stubbornness, right? So it the best way how you can uh, avoid being stuck in the week it's it's when you are not stubborn all right or it is while you aren't stubborn but you as well allow yourself to consider that there is other options available that there is always another way how you can deal you know with the uh with the plights into your marriage or with the difficulties into your career and so on and so forth now the accompanied card here is going to be the queen of swords and the formation it is a active supporters and it looks like that you pretty much think that you figured it all out right that pretty much you have the recipe of your success 
And while that is true, once again, you know, there is more than one way how you can take on that thing, all right, or how you can look at something and all these kinds of stuff. So it's very important that you are emancipated person throughout this week, considering, like I said, you know, a more uh, up to date kind of like options available. These two cards are to me, especially look at seeing the, the, the cards that are yet to come, are to me at least are speaking that you are relying on either outdated promises, outdated stipulations, for example, to your contract, you know, outdated a, uh, agreements as well, for example, in between you and your wife or in between you and your husband or in between you and your boss, while right now you need to stand for yourself, you know, and try to renegotiate the rules of the situation regardless um, <clears throat> which which person that situation involves you know it could be your your husband that it is a way to get used you know you to take kids from the uh from the school okay and that thing kind of like starts to become a burden for you but it's something that you allow to happen you know with the eight of swords it's something that you even maybe proposed back in the days to happen and now uh, this 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 thing is because you allow it to happen it's it's simple as that and you need to kind of get in tune with the times as back in the days you know the circumstances were different and probably that's why you agree to that but it's it's it doesn't suit you any longer so it is a uh, in such sort of a uh, renegotiating the rules of your contracts of of your marriage for example of your relationships you know or with your parents as well it is what the topic of this week is going to be all about now the next card it is the challenge and that is the two of swords and i pretty much uncovered the card in in the previous few sentences this card points that you may struggle and have really difficult time to understand that before you decide what to do, you have to consider all points of view. You need to try to look at the things from a different angle, you know, to, to consider different options available. And uh, the Two of Swords also uh, <clears throat> in a negative position here, which is something you're going to struggle with, is to be rather more, um, how do you say it in English, more... Uh, I would say the word, I know that the word is not patient, but I will use that word for the lack of a better word, you know, uh, in my dictionary, at least in my vocabulary and uh, uh, patient with your choices. Rather, you should you should restrict yourself being quick and swift judging, being adjudicator or adjudicating upon a certain, you know, a certain circumstances, but instead try to be more clever and try to make everything works in your way because you can't do that, all right? With these first cards, it's very potent from you to do so, to make the circumstances work for you. Now, the accompanied card here is going to be the judgment and the formation. It is a uh, active friends. So as an active friends, uh, it's, it's rather, well, I would say it is that, well, how, to, how do I explain it? It's more like, let's say that you see the, the resolution of your problem, all right? But in order for you to take uh, to, to start executing the resolution of your problem, there is another thing that needs to be done. And that another thing is going to be the, 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 the real problem. OK, so instead of having problem with your husband, for example. Uh, um, you will instead you are going to transfer the problem into the time you take your kid from the school, for example. All right. So you are to decide or rather like figure out that uh, actually this big problem you may have in your marriage or into your career is caused by a very very small problem okay and that is the real problem that is the root of the situation and that's why you need to look at the things from a different angle so you can find out how to resolve it and as soon as you resolve it you know it's going to be like a domino effect um how do you say it? The snowballing effect, all right, which is going to start resolving your problems uh, one by one since you kind of like found the, 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 the very core of it. 
and uh, then the next uh, the next card it is about the positive aspect that helps you throughout the week we do have the ten of cups obviously very very good card now uh, it will differentiate in between you races how this card is going to manifest for some of you the card kind of shows that <clears throat> this is how do i place it this is kind of like the, the the it's not the final push but the biggest push you gotta do so you can stir your situation so this this week is how do i say it? the final week where you're going to experience a tremendous um a tremendous difficulties okay for others uh, this card represents the human nature where uh, uh, when you reach something at some point becomes simply not enough anymore. Take it like this, okay? So let's say that you were single and you were dating with someone or kind of like hanging out with someone that you really, really wanted to be with this person, okay? And probably you pray to God or whatever that this is the only thing that you want and you, you will never ask for anything else. And suddenly you end up together and two weeks after that, two months, excuse me, after that, you now want for a better job. Two months after you get your better job, you now want, say, a better car, for example. And it, it, this is with everybody. It's not just with you guys. It's with me as well. I mean, when we have something, we just kind of like get along with it and then we want something more. So this is what the Ten of Cups could represent for you or in other words, I, it points that you can go for more, all right? It's just, you need to kind of bend your mind so you can try to see the situation or consider the situation from a different angle. The accompanied card here is going to be the High Priestess, which uh, points to a combination of a passive supporters. And the High Priestess in this specific combination, uh, it just puts longevity it points to a long lasting something that it is i would say granted to you one way or another but in order to reach for it you know for this happiness here or for this more that the cards are talking about you know in order to reach for it first you need to uh, like i said resolve that small stone which is turning over the carriage that you are riding or it is sinking your ship and uh, once you do so, you uh, I guess that you would see uh, how many blessings you do have at your disposal, and uh, and uh, in reality, you know how emotionally rich you can be with with your wife, with your girlfriend or boyfriend, or with your job, uh, in in fact as well. So that that week, to me at least, it looks like that you need to realize that. Uh, if you try to uh, if you try to assess assess your situation from uh, from a completely different perspective, something that you haven't dare even to think about, like thinking outside of the box, you are to see that you are far richer than uh, than you actually anticipating, and that uh, that you are uh, valuing, right? That you are placing value upon. And that being said, needless to say that you're going to start feeling yourself way, way more happier than uh, than before. And the last card here, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. That is the death card. And to me, in this reading, the death card points as a guidance is that you shouldn't regret anything that happened back in the days. You shouldn't focus on something that it is beyond your reach any longer. All right. But rather you need to start thinking of what you can you can dispose right now which is outdated something that i said uh, at the start of the reading and align yourself with the full with the flow because with this card everything is at flux and outdated um standpoints outdated goals outdated ideals outdated habits outdated relationships they need to be let go of so you clear yourself a room for newness to um to conceive and to sprinkle your life with life and uh, the accompanied card it is the eight uh, the ace of pentacles formation it is a passive friends here and it's basically whatever comes to substitute the outdated or the the up-to-date agendas goals relationships or whatever is to happen based on letting go of the outdated things in your life well it's it's going to be in a um, 
a long-lasting thing with the Ace of Pentacles. It's gonna be slowly developing, all right? So let's say you let go of ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend and you start hanging out with new people, you know, and suddenly you realize that there is someone that shows interest in you. Should you give that person a chance, either a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. Then yeah, the things are gonna uh, kind of move with, the sw with, with, with a slow pace and they're not gonna be very, um, they're not going to develop very rapidly, but uh, they're going to be a very, very long lasting as well. And uh, it's time to turn your glance upon your personal business success here with these two cards and also to your personal happiness into your relationships. So just to summarize all that areas, it looks like to me that this week is all about your personal self-awareness to become aware that you can be that you can be much more happier much more lucrative as well and that if you aren't then you are focusing on the wrong fulcrum here all right there is there is a thing that you need to see outside of the box you need to fix it with your actions or with your decisions it doesn't matter which is going to stir your situation moving forward so that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 19th to August 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.